So finances have been portrayed negatively for thousands of years, and you have to ask the question, why? And I think there are fundamentally two reasons for why they are portrayed so badly. The first is people just don't know what financiers do. This goes all the way back to the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle, who said, money is barren. So if you lend somebody money, you shouldn't expect to get anything in return. There's no productive value that money provides. And therefore, any interest that is given on money is unjust. The Christians picked up on this significantly and it, for hundreds of years, charging interest on money was deemed immoral, wrong, evil, actually a, a mortal sin. And it was a real misunderstanding in terms of what is the productive value that bankers and financiers and money actually provides. Only around the 18th century did people start to really understand this. And as they understood it, slowly the idea of interest in certain financial transactions were viewed as okay. But it's still true today that we don't really understand the nature of what Wall Street does, what investment bankers do, what do hedge funds do? What about those derivatives? Aren't they really, really bad? Every single one of these instruments, every single one of these various institutions are a mystery to most people. Most businessmen can define easily the product that they are producing, and we can understand them. Software, hardware, a service, I run a restaurant. You know, the business is clear, and we have experience consuming it. Banking is very abstract. Banking, finance, very abstract. It is what makes all those other businesses possible. But to explain that is hard and difficult. And one of the things that we do in our new book. So that's reason number one, the fact that it is difficult to understand the productive nature, the benefit we all get, human beings get from the existence of the field of finance. The second, is a suspicion we have generally of profit, of the pursuit of profit, of the self-interest that is exhibited by businessmen in general and financiers in particular in pursuing more money. After all, money is the tool of finance and their success is reflected in more profit, which means more money. And we've always had a negative view in our culture about profit, about making more money, about the pursuit of wealth. So those are the two issues. And in the videos to come, and certainly in the book, I will discuss each one of those.